So I had a healing today on a client that has um, three little dogs. And he takes them for walks all the time. Um, hi. And he watches his three little dogs like hop up and down as they walk around on the beach or on the um in the on the grass. Hi. Are you all right? Hi, huh, Mama. Are you okay? You survived, huh? You survived the attack. Oh. Uh, So he's, he's watching his little dogs um, poke around and he doesn't, and he loves them and he does not micromanage the dogs. He lets them, um, you know, scout around and have adventures and he calls them, he calls them to him if he worries about their safety or if he hasn't seen one in a little bit. So for the, for the most part, he just lets his, oh, his little dog babies roam free and have fun. Oh, you guys are so cute. Oh, I can't the chickens. So think about that right now. If you were watching three little dogs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, if you have three little dogs that you, you know, you didn't worry about their safety and you could allow them free movement all over the place and, um, you just could enjoy, enjoy the three little dogs that you love and you only have to interfere with their lives and call them back and you know stop them from doing what they're doing um okay oh 15 16. all right last one She's probably bedded down tonight. Uh, all right. So imagine. <laughs> There's a rat. Sorry. The rats make freak me out because. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. I'm gonna have to warn. Yuck. Ugh. Yuck. I can't stand rats. Okay. God, look. God's creatures. <laughs> all creatures great and small. Um, all right, so imagine you've got these little dogs. So his, so this guy's died. This is my second try at this video because uh, I had to smash up a squash to feed to the babies. Um, so... This guy's guide was saying, you know, think about how you are with your dogs and how you let them, you let them just go. And that could have been awful. They are very active, right? You let your dogs just go and enjoy their little lives. I'm getting somewhere with this, but I really want you to get this vibe of just looking upon these creatures, three little dogs. You only have to call them when you're worried about their safety, which isn't very often because where you take them walking is a safe place. So for the most part, 
<clears throat> you are um, free to just enjoy the walk. And uh, just watch and enjoy these little beings. So two are chihuahuas. That's how small they are. And you just get to watch them and watch them play and watch them run. And they eat um, red raspberries off the bushes and they're so cute. And you just watch them and you just, you know, they're not young. You know, they're not that young. So they know the rules. So they're easy to care for and maintain. And they all pretty much stay together. So you almost never have to call them. But you're just watching them and letting them have their little fun and in, they're enjoying their version of the walk you're on the same walk together but of course the vantage points are different um and uh you're just loving them and watching them loving their life and then you get to just relax okay so this guides information with think about the dogs when you take the dogs for a walk think about how um carefree basically it's pretty much carefree you don't have to control them there's nothing to control they know what's expected and everything's pretty much you know normal okay now Now that you understand how to look upon, how you look upon your dog, his dog, but think about it for you. There's no micromanaging with these dogs. You want them to play and have fun. You want them to be happy and enjoy. And the only time you have to interfere with their fun and their freedom. The only time that you have to ever interfere with the freedom of these pup, these dogs is when you feel that their safety is in question or you need to keep track of get get track of them. That's it. That's it. Oh. Other than that, you let them live their life. All right? So, there's a lot of allowing of these dogs as you're looking upon them and you're enjoying your walk and they're enjoying their walk. Same walk, different vantage points. And there's a peacefulness and there's no micromanaging there's nothing when you're in a safe spot there's nothing that tells you that you have to like yell at them all the time and and micromanage them right so for the most part it's a pretty calm peaceful quiet nothing to say kind of a kind of a deal all right now they say Look upon other human beings as if they are your three dogs. Just watch, watch what they're doing. Only now you are not responsible for these other human beings, unless you're a parent and these are your children. That's the only time. But other grown-ups, you can tell them, hey, there's a car coming or whatever, but you're really not, it's not your job. It's not your job. They're not your responsibility. So if you have children, those beings are your responsibility. If you're married, your spouse, you know, you have to pay extra attention. And um, I always call marriage the uh, the best spirit, the best free spiritual life uh, training ever. <laughs> um, so. Imagine you look upon other human beings 
the same way you look upon these three dogs, allowing them the freedom to enjoy the earth. Okay, then it came to now enjoy yourself in the same way um and again as you watch yourself in your life there's going to be a a certain amount of responsibility that you will have for yourself and your safety a certain amount of responsibility okay but to the degree that you can you want to not micromanage and you want to allow as much freedom as possible to whether it's other people or it's yourself. This means you do something crazy. But like if I was obsessed with safety, I would have never gone hang gliding and I would have never flown airplanes. I don't all the best stuff I ever did, I would have never done. And um and I see these like teenagers uh, they're all they're doing. They just have jobs with masks, and then they just go home. They have like that. This is not living. This isn't living. And you know, in case you don't know that there's a cure for the virus, there's a cure. It's a thing that starts with H, zinc, and azithromax. And these doctors have 100% cure rates. Like, you have to know that there's a cure. And it's okay that, it has to be okay that they keep removing the doctors who are talking about the cure. That has to be okay, or I'm going to hurt myself with resistance. I'm going to resist, you know, that these um, whatever they are, keep banning the doctors from saying that there's a cure and telling everyone what it is and telling everyone they have a 100% success rate, even with people who are 100 years old. Um, some of these, one of these doctors I know lost her job for speaking at this thing and this is where we are now and uh am i mad no because anger is 150 not only that it's just agenda 21 and although it's more obvious now it's been happening for so long oh my god like they used to call people who talked about the new world order conspiracy theorists well, you can't call those people that anymore because we're here. This is it. We're doing it. It's here. Okay, so don't get mad. Just wake up. Just become aware. Understand there's a reason. There is a reason that it's all happening. You know, it's, you know, you can call it an evil agenda, whatever you want to call it. But it is what it is, okay? And, uh, I, I understand that the people who follow the mainstream media narrative are going to be angry and scared, okay? But the people, all of you guys, all of you who know about the agenda, I'm going to act like I'm your mother. <laughs> And you're the older sibling, and all of them are the younger sibling. And I'm going to say to you right now, you're, you know better. You know they don't. They're scared, okay? They're scared, and they're angry, and that's the way it is. But there's a reason that they're scared and they're angry. The, the, the plan, the plan just worked. <laughs> you know, this plan was set up and figured out, oh my God, so long ago and put into motion 
so, ow, so, ow, so long ago. Ah! Rat! Okay, so glad to be getting out. All right. All right. So freaking gross. I didn't want to get the eggs, but I got one. All right, so this whole agenda, this whole Agenda 21, this thing was figured out by really smart people. They were paid to figure it out by really wealthy people. You know, the hertz uh, on music was changed from 432 a long time ago by one particular family. They, they figured out what changing the hertz does. Changing the hertz, the frequency of music creates dis harmony inside human bodies. I have a friend, Jen Aurelia, who she records all of her music in the, I think it's 432 frequency band that creates harmony, which creates healing because the physical body wants to heal. The physical body wants to heal. Um, so the same family that changed the music also got in, uh, involved with medicine. And they can, they can force everyone who's teaching medical science to say the opposite of what's true. These are the same people who changed the hertz of music to create disharmony. Do you really think that if they want to create disharmony with music, that they're going to tell everyone the truth with medical science? Why would they? They're spending, they spent tons of money figuring out how to make disharmony in music. Okay? There's a reason. Everybody that's doing whatever they're doing has a reason for doing it. There's no need to get mad. Really, I get, I understand why you would get mad when you first find out what's been happening and how the world doesn't work the way I thought it did or the way it's supposed to or be better. It's supposed to be better. Well, listen, it just is this way. This is what it is. So, Don't get mad. Those who can hold a loving vibration, hold a peaceful vibration. If you, if you get mad, feel it, learn the holistic benefit of a boundary defense. Your soul saying, put more distance between you and that person or that situation or that thing. Okay. Feel it. To release it learning that you need to put a bigger boundary there instead of wallowing in betrayal and resulting in the emotional block of blame okay these these families at the very top of the vertical fight okay if they get their way and we're all microchipped and vaccinated and accounted for and all of our bank accounts are tied to our chip and we can't speak out on social media because all of our bank, all of our money is going to be frozen or redirected or whatever, whatever. Okay. If that happened, if Agenda 21 came to fruition, it's not the fault of the people at the top of the vertical fight because they have shown us and we've been able to see what they're doing. They've been very clear. Now, they call, you know, they call the chip, you know, and all that stuff, the trust, the trust pass. No, the wellness pass and the trust stamp. So the chip, they're not going to call it microchip from hell, okay? They call it trust stamp. It's just a trust stamp. Does not sound so nice? And it's, and it's not, um, we're tracking you wherever you go, and we, we have access to all your bank accounts. And if you're a black woman from Africa, then your chip has 
you know, um, uh, contraceptive contraception in it. And we decide whether we're going to turn off the contraception and let you have a child or not. Okay. So that's what that chip's about. That's what those chi these chips are about. They get to decide who has babies and who doesn't. That's it's, it's very deep concept. Okay. That's the wellness path and the trust stamp. So the wellness path lets you get on an airplane to fly wherever you want as long as you've had all your vaccinations and as long as you've done everything you're supposed to do it's a version of the chinese um social credit score uh dragonfly initiative okay it's it's a it's the united states version of it all right <clears throat> but you know if you you know if you've been paying attention or if you're just starting to pay attention and you find out that uh you know all these children's like oh we helped you know, here's this number from the Clinton Foundation. If you suspect child trafficking, call this number. Well, all the people that call that number end up committing suicide, almost all of them, maybe all of them, because everything's backwards, okay? But if we end up allowing Agenda 21 to come to fruition, it's not the people at the top of the vertical fight's fault. It's the fight. It's the fault of the masses that won't stop fighting and creating chaos that is just proving to the people at the top of the vertical fight that we need help to create peace and they're going to do it for us by making us completely subservient and then they decide whether we have kids they decide all all they decide everything for us if you speak out on social media well maybe you don't get to you know fly to france to see your family you know you know so but if Agenda 20, uh, you know, hopefully everybody wakes up in plenty of time. All right. But if they don't, it's not the people at the top of the vertical fight's fault. It's the people in the lateral fight right now fighting each other over masks and vaccines. And Joe Biden is not a dementia patient. He's a perfect candidate for president, you know, or whatever, whatever the fight's about, whatever it is, right? <laughs> it's our fault. If the lateral fight continues, it's our fault because our fighting is what's moving us closer and closer and sooner and sooner to Agenda 21. The fear, the fear in the masses about COVID or uh, give me a vaccine, you know, those people, that fear, okay, is real to them and you can't fight them out of their fear, okay? You, you can only love them out of their fear you can only love them and i know it's a challenge but if you have a higher level vibration like freedom empowerment and gratitude of 900 then you have 900 you're closer to the you're better able to hold a loving vibe for the scared people than the scared people could ever love you they're not even near love for themselves okay fear is 100 and anger is 150 and the people who are following the mainstream narrative are are bouncing back and forth between 100 and 150. 100, 150, 100, 150, 100, 150. Those people don't have access to love. So you can't get mad at them. You, you can't come from a higher vibration of love 500, joy 540, peace 600, 900 gratitude, empowerment, and, and freedom. Or even enlightenment, if you made it up to a thousand, you know, like enlightened master, you know, for you at a higher vibration to come all the way down to anger 150, that's just stupid. Okay. Keep your own vibration high and remember the only way, the only way to stop the lateral fight, the only way to get these, get these fear, anger, bouncing around people to stop fighting and ushering in the new world order agenda you know you've got to love them you have to be patient with them doesn't mean you have to be super sickeningly sweet sometimes you know i i i've been getting better at fighting on twitter i've been practicing that might sound weird but i used to run from a fight and now you know i'm gonna make fun of whatever i'm gonna make fun of and if someone doesn't like it um, uh, well, I don't owe them any explanation. I don't owe them any, 
apology. Okay. Let's see the car one more time. One, two. Oh, hello. All right. So anyway, love, love as much as you can. We're in it now. This is the, this is the time. This is a very exciting time to be alive. We're in it, man. We're in it. You've got to love, <laughs> love yourself. Love the normies, man. They, they don't know. They just forgive them, Lord. They know not what to do. They're not intentionally taking, making sure that your freedom is gone and handed over to the families on a silver platter at the top of the vertical fight. That's not, that's not their intention. I know that's what they're doing. That is what they're doing. I'll give you that. They are handing over all of our freedoms so that they can feel safe for five minutes before the next piece of bullshit rolls around. Yes, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Okay? But they don't mean to. So you just have to love them. Oh, look at that. All right, I really love you guys. I really love you. And think about this. If some normie is screaming at you on social media, any social media, or in the grocery store, or in the park, because you're running without a mask on, okay? The, the kinder that you can be to that person, the happier you make me. Because <laughs> the only way out is loving each other. And, and, and stopping the fight. Uh, the, the lateral fight's got to stop. So, anyway, forgive them, Lord. They really don't know what they're doing. And they're not capable. If they're spending, if they're, they still, if the people who believe the mainstream media narrative and they believe Fauci's not taking HCQ, you know, I, I believe Dr. Emanuel. So I, she's like, give me urine samples. I know he's on and I'll bet anything. She's probably right. She's probably right. Because she knows that the cure is that H, zinc, and azithromax. She knows the cure. These, all these doctors know. They're getting their voices shut down. They're, but don't get mad. Don't get mad. Mad is 150. <sighs> okay. Four functions of the mind. You got the thinking mind, the intellectual mind, right? The memory and the ego. We want to keep the intellectual mind. We want to keep the thinking mind. Thinking, thinking, what's a good um, solution, right? If I, if I meditate with a high vibration on a, on a, not on the problem and like focusing on the problem, but if I focus on the solution, Okay, so let's, so let's just take what I'm talking about. My solution is the lateral fight stops and all the masses come together, right? And I have a really high, I, I bring a high vibration and meditate on the solution I want to see. What do I want to see? I want to see the masses relaxed, calm, loving and hugging each other, everybody coming together, right? Being the light. So I see the masses you know, the lateral fight. There is no lateral fight anymore. The masses are just pure white light, loving and hugging each other, raising their vibration. I just, I just hold that picture in my mind and I meditate on that. I meditate on that reality. And I allow my true self, my higher self, God, the universe, to give me my any contribution that I can make towards that okay sometimes it means sitting it out sometimes it means staying away from people and just focusing on your garden your family yourself maybe learning something mindvalley.com has all these great classes and you can take a, a smaller version of every well most of the classes I think maybe all but you can take a smaller version of the class for free to see if you want to take the whole thing. It's amazing. You can take all kinds of stuff on mindvalley.com for free. It's just, it's, it's, doesn't take much of time out of your day and you're going to get something out of every single one. It's really well done. 
you could take Mind Valley free courses to keep your vibration high and just not wait. It's not waiting, but it's it's actually living your life the best possible way that you can given the circumstances. All right, there's people getting killed. That's the truth. There's people dying. There's people getting killed. Two 14-year-old Chinese boys dropped dead from wearing masks during gym class. So we got kids, you know, and they're probably calling it a COVID death, but it's a mask death. It's a mask death. It's, it's not a COVID death. It's a mask death. Okay. Uh, anyway... Calm down, come to center, focus on what you want, meditate with a high vibration, raise your vibration, meditate. What do you want to see? Allow your higher self to show you the next best right step towards that becoming a reality. You're creating your reality with your thoughts. If you're allowing someone else to point out what's bullshit, and you focus on that, you're going to create more bullshit. You're going to get madder. Okay? You only live one time as you, but you are what you, what you truly are is eternal consciousness. Okay? Now, your ego is the fourth part of our mind, but the ego is just a bundle of thoughts that takes credit for the other three pieces of my mind. So my thinking mind thinks about things. My intellectual mind uses my memory to um, figure things out. And so those three functions of my mind are the ones doing all the work. But then the ego comes along and goes, I, I know that already. I know that it's a tree. I know that it's a sugar maple tree. I know that's this. I know that's that. But the ego didn't do any work. It just came in at the end and takes credit for everything. All right. And in, in the books I'm reading... Um, the, it's, the second book's called I Am Brahman. And in the books that I'm reading, the Swami yells at the guy who wants enlightenment. You will never be enlightened. You will never be enlightened. Enlightenment will never come to you. And he's yelling and the guy's crying. And of course, what's happening is the Swami is yelling at the man's ego because the ego won't stop. Ego won't get out of the way. Okay? When... when Okay, so a truly enlightened individual, the wise sage, there's three eyes. They can come from, uh, they have three different frames of reference. Of course, I am Brahman, so pure consciousness. So I am pure consciousness, right? I am uh, one with God, with the universe, whatever word you use for God, highest, holiest, source, creator, energy. I am one with that energy. And then the other one is, I am a person, body, mind, complex. So even though I'm Brahman and I know that I am pure consciousness and then I have an awareness of the fact, the truth that I am consciousness. I am infinite and I'm consciousness. All right. And I know that I am part of God, a piece of God, one with God. I can still say I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm thirsty as my body, mind, complex person. But the whole time I'm choosing whichever I I want to come from, all these three, three different, three different levels, really, three different levels of being. At the same time, I know that I'm Brahman. I am Brahman. I just choose which level I, I'm going to come from now. So anyway, here I am again, just asking you to love, 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 love the normies. Love them, love them. They, some, some, they just can't. So to expect them, expecting a normie who's wrapped up in the mainstream media narrative, expecting one of them who's scared and angry, Almost all the time, they're scared and angry, scared and angry, scared and angry, and they want to keep giving up freedom to feel safe for five minutes. I'm not saying feel sorry for them. I'm saying uh, understand. Compassion for them. Compassion is love plus understanding. Love plus understanding. Compassion for these people who bounce around between fear, 
and anger, fear and anger, fear and anger, and are happy. They just, they don't just want to, oh, I guess. They're happy to give up their freedom in order to feel safe. That's what's happening with them. Okay. Compassion. Love them and understand that their max vibration is 150. They hardly even make it to 200. These are not your responsibility. These people are not your responsibility. Okay? But to the extent that you can bless them, forgive them, respect their free will choices to be in those lower vibrations and love them, we don't know what's going to happen. A lot of them could just be wiped off the planet with their low vibration because Mother Earth is like, had it. She's had it with low vibrational people. So, so there's, there's teenagers now committing suicide because they're scared and they don't want to live another day in this scared reality. So isn't it uh, uh, interesting? These teenagers are less scared to kill themselves than they are to live worrying about COVID and all this stuff. Now, I'm not saying it's great. I'm not saying it's neat. I'm saying, look at what's happening. Like these people are just so scared. And, and you know, we don't know who's going to leave the planet and take their low vibration with them. We could see an incredible increase or jump, a lift in the collective consciousness. Okay? But don't expect low vibrational humans to give you any kind of a peaceful or like calm space to talk and 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 don't expect them to listen to your opinions and your understanding of trafficking and how everything goes together and uh blah blah, blah. you know they're conflating so much crap right now like um jeffrey epstein the island logs you know so epstein had his own plane and he flew he flew to the island but he also flew just between florida and new york and so he has people he's flown between florida and new york or new york to florida or just you know new york to bedford you know massachusetts you know but it, the island is not the same. So when they, they say, oh, this person traveled on the Lolita Express. Yeah, but they didn't go to the island. You know, they just went to New Jersey or they just went to Florida. The island is where um, the, uh, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. We live in interesting times. But you have to love your way out of it. I'm sorry to tell you. You can't hate your way to a loving world. And you can't fight your way to peace. So it's up to you. And if if the people at the top of the vertical fight get their way, it's not their fault that we're in that pickle. It's not their fault that all of our freedom is gone. It's our fault. It's the masses fault. It's the lateral fight and the chaos and the disruption and the hatred and the lower vibrational bullshit. And I have to tell you, um, I should do a different video, but I'll just mention it now. The guilt and shame of many, many white people is what's creating this like strong cover for the really dark trafficking happening. And you know, if you have a shipping container, you can fit guns in there, you can fit drugs in there, and you can fit lots of humans in there. So the shipping, you know, however they ship people, humans, drugs, guns, children, you know, organs, however they ship this stuff, they can use the same shipping channels and the same protection mechanisms to ship or to move all kinds of, to traffic all kinds of crap, all kinds of places. All right. So I love you and I hope you have a great night. Bye.